Um, so I'm here with my friend Joe. Um, Joe is someone that has inspired me personally, and I'm sure after this interview he will start inspire you as well. Uh, Joe, uh, in his accomplishment, is phenomenal, um, and I can't just list out everything he has done, but he will tell you in his own words. Um, and the reason we're doing this with Joe is to inspire people and also to make sure people don't make mistakes. Uh, because a lot of us, especially like myself, uh, I've been an entrepreneur for some time, I've been an investor for some time, and what I've learned is that you can always learn something from someone who's far ahead of you. Uh, so Joe, uh, just to ask you uh, a few questions, what inspired you to get into real estate? Like, why real estate? Why not anything else? Sure, sure. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate this. You're welcome. Um, uh, my background was in accounting and finance, really nothing to do with real estate. But my mom had been a successful real estate agent for a while, and she and my dad had bought properties and done okay with them. Uh, when I got out of business school, I, I went to the Wharton School. When I got out of business school, I went into corporate America, and I soon realized that I didn't want to do that for the rest of my life. And I was looking for something to uh, give me what I wanted. Uh, at first, I thought I could save and invest my way to retirement, and I realized the way. yes, yes, and I realized that was going to take way longer than I was expecting. Even though I was saving a lot of my money because I was traveling a lot, and I enjoyed the travel in corporate America for a while, and then. A tragedy happened. I fell in love and got married. <laughs> and all of a sudden, a all of a sudden, I didn't want to travel anymore. And um, of course, I, uh, Karen and I got married in uh, September of '95, and we were visiting my parents down in Florida, uh, December of that year. And you know the old saying, uh, "When the student is ready, the teacher will appear." Well, I'm watching TV, and they say the commercial was, you know, come to the local Holiday Inn two-hour presentation about learn about all about investing in real estate. So yeah, what the hell, I'll go. So I went, and I went to the thing, and I didn't understand half of what the guy was talking about. But it was free, and I got all inspired, and got all psyched up, and the next thing I know, I was paying $6,000 for a five-day boot camp. Oh my goodness. You know, the next wow. week, the next, in the next couple of weeks. I went off to Dallas, went to it, and I came up just fired up. But I said, this is what I want to do. Wow. Um, this is what I want to do. I didn't understand all of it. I didn't understand most of it. But I decided right then and there that's what I wanted to do, and I actually decided that it was time for us to move. And so uh, I was living in New Jersey at the time. Um, nothing against the Northeast, but uh, the Northeast <laughs> is best if you need to have a high-paying job. And if I was going to do real estate yeah. full-time, I didn't need a high-paying job, and I also didn't need the snow and all that stuff. So I did a search, eventually uh, decided on the Virginia Beach area, and um, started buying properties later on in 96. And in October '97, I quit Carpet America for good. We moved down there, and I've wow. been I've been there doing this full time ever since. Wow, that's that's remarkable. Yeah, it really, what a great story. Just uh, so what what turned the switch on for you at that event or whatever that happened? What was something? Was there something that was bothering you from the job that you were at? Was there something aside from having fallen in love? <laughs> was there any other factors? That well, well, 